on to love the day of the windmill today, is it? And we're going to make our film. Got our camera and our sound equipment. And, oh, the makeup. Yes, we got makeup as well. Yeah, if I'm going to be in the film, I better get made up, didn't I? Yeah. What should we have first? Rosy cheeks, yes. You're going to do it. Yeah, well, just do it nice. Yeah, just a little bit of rosy cheeks. Then. Have you done it? Oh, thank you. Is that all right? Good. What about lips? Yeah, this is the lip one. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure that's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yes. And uh, what are you laughing at? And what about eyebrows? Y yes, uh, there we are, eyebrows. Thank you. Oh, is that good? Oh, is that good? Yeah. Um, eyes. Yeah, this is the eyes one. Yes, thank you. Do it nicely. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's, that's very good of you. It's lovely. Very nice indeed. Have I finished? What? Oh, powder. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they don't do this in the... Is that all right? I bet I look the bestest one, you know. Are you game? Come on, we've got to get back on the film. Everything's all ready. Lights, action. Yeah. <laughs> to the bar. Oh, Mrs. Grotbags, your government surplus. I was just doing like what you said. Looking down the grotoscope to report on the brats and they're all singing and dancing and I just got carried away. You'll get Ooh. carted off in a minute, you stupid walking handbag. Oh, oh, but I feel, I feel so wonderful today. I just know that I'm going to come up with a master plan with which to capture that emu so that I can rule all the brats in the world. If I ruled the world, I oh. Every... oh, she's off again. Oh, 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 delightful, delightful. A regular little Bonnie Langford, if I might say so, yes. Oh, very musical. Very musical indeed, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Grovel. Yes. Now, I must think up one of my master plans. I want absolute quiet, absolute silence. <laughs> Uh, that, that must be the poster. I will go and fetch it right away, as befits my duty as a manservant, ever faithful, uh, ever alert. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Grubb! Quiet! Think... But then Brad's there. Quiet! <coughs> a discreet cough. Uh, me lady, a letter addressed to you. <laughs> oh! It's from the WI, which is incorporated. My union, you know. Well, I wonder what they're writing to me about this. Oh. Headed note paper. Look, 
Witch of the Year Awards. I knew it. I just knew it was going to be a wonderful day today. <coughs> Dear Sister Grotbags, We have been looking at your records as a witch. <coughs> they always begin like this. And it appears that you have done absolutely nothing. You have failed to get that emu. You haven't possessed any brats. You're not nasty and your singing's getting worse. Therefore, you will not be included in this year's Witch of the Year Awards. Not included? Me? How can they do this to me? Me? What gave Pinocchio Dutch Elm disease? Not nasty enough. Why, it was me that voted for your mother wouldn't like it. How can they do this to me? After all these years, what can I do to prove to them? You could make a film. Make a film? Yes, and send it to the WI. A film showing you catching that emu, possessing them brats, and it could show me. Driving you on the hovercraft of your dangerous mission. Yes, yes, and, and it could show me greeting you on your return and being your humble servant. Yes, and, and waving to the crowds. <laughs> yes, 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 and then the WI would see just how nasty, brave and clever I was. And they'd put me mm. back into the Witch of the Year awards. Oh, oh, I can see it all now. Just a minute. To make a film, you need equipment and stuff. Cameras and lights and things. Oh, crop! For once, I really thought you'd come up with a good idea. No, Bax, you honest <laughs> alligator, you. Oh, a building up her ladyship's hopes with the idea of making a film. And all the time I know it, as we ain't not got no cinematographical accoutrements. Oh, that were artless, that were artless. The whole idea was a, was a, was a fiasco right from the start. Oh. Yes, oh, I think he deserves a wallop. And he's going to get one. Yes. <clears throat> Making a film. Yes, a Mrs. Grotbanks, that's what they're doing down at the Pink Windmill. The Pink Windmill? Yes, that was and that emu and them brats. They're going to be making a film. That's what gave me the idea. The idea? Oh, that we should go down to the Pink Windmill while they're making their film, and I just walk in and grab hold of that emu and capture him. Yes, then we could take the film and send it to the WI. Oh! That's absolutely wonderful, isn't it, Grovel? Oh, yes, wonderful. Wonderfully wonderful, your ladyship, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you just said it was a fisacco. You see, while that streaky bonehead Rod is making a film with them silly little brats singing and dancing, I just walk in and capture that little emu. <laughs> then it will be all on the film for the WI to see. Oh, I can see it all now. Grotiscope, and let me know the minute they start filming. Ooh! Have they started? No, they're going out. I think they're going to the battlefield. Oh, we must get down there right away. And not one word about that film. No, not one word. Lights, camera, action. Uh, Cecil B. De Flippin' Garbo. <laughs> Here we are on the battlefield with the six Derby Boys Brigade from Little Over Derby. Gregory, Philip and Dean. And of course, we have been giving them pet talks so we are so fit. We are uh, two, ready to three, go. four, come and on again. Uh, two, bunny. three, oh. four. We are just running in because we've been training. And we are, ah. in fact, the boys come from Cheltenham and we've got Neville... Uh, Jamie and Kirsten. Are we right? So let's, who's going to go for number Rip one? Back. Number one. Come, come on, my team. Points, go ready? get yourselves ready. Here we go then. Stand by. And Good luck. Let battle commence. Off you go. go. Come on. Go.
we are. This is for the Cheltenham Boys Club. Oh, what are you going to buy with it? With a pool table. And can we all come down and play pool? You like that, don't you? Now stop it! Here, stop it! Just to get me done. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it, Emu? But now it's time for some more excitement, because it's time for us to go over to another part of Emu's world. You know what I mean. And find out what's been happening in Boggle's Kingdom. Oh, yes. oh, John, John, what do you mean by barging into the throne room like that, peasant? I'm begging your pardon, Your Royal Highness, but I went to the kitchen, there was no one there. I thought you'd want to check the groceries with the list, look. Good morning, Your Majesty. Morning, Your Chop, John. Where are the dried peas? Look, it's on the list. One bag of dried peas. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Royal Highness. They were in such a big bag, I put them out separately. I must have left them in the shop. Ah, forgive the intrusion, ma'am. Your Majesty, these two Sassanaks here try to stop me from coming in to see you. You were lucky, you were. Oh, it probably took all their training not to attack you. Oh. Ah, but I had to see you being of royal blood myself. Really? Ah, uh, uh, John, John, put that sword away. Can't you see he's one of us? Well, uh, not one of you. And you two men, leave. I am the McQuirtle of the McQuirtles, commonly known as Bonnie Prince Duncan McQuirtle. A prince? Oh, how romantic. Uh, and uh, how may we help you, uh, Duncan? May doot you've heard about the war. A terrible clan war raging in the Highlands. And I, I, bony Prince Duncan McWhittle, had been forced to flee like a hunted stag for fear of the McNoobabs. Oh, yes, yes, it's very catching at this time of year, yes. The McNoobabs, the deadliest band of cutthroats, ever to roam the Scottish Highlands. Oh, those McNoobabs. Oh, Aye. And as one royal person to another, all I ask is that you give me refuge for a few days. Oh, oh yes. Well, you must stay as long as you like, Duncan. <laughs> oh, John, John, make sure a guest room is prepared for our royal visitor. At once, Your Royal Highness. Ah, you're a grand king, I thank you. <laughs> and you're a bonny wee last yourself. <laughs> but no. I have some presents for you. Oh, presents. Oh, it's very kind. Oh, oh it's very... It's, yeah. you got them mixed up. No, you have the skirt and I'll have the scarf. Scarf? Scarf? Tis a shawl, ma'am, and this is a McWhirtle kilt. Tis an honour that I'm giving you. Oh, of course, I knew that all the time. You must put it on at once. In honour of our royal guest. Aye. Well, yes, well, if you'll excuse me then, I'll just go to my room and try on my skirt. Uh, a dress, a kilt. <laughs> and I'll be away to find that wee laddie and get myself to my room, Princess Hortensia. Do you mind if I call you Horty? Oh, of course not. Donkey. <laughs> Aye. We'll see you at supper, then. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, supper. Uh, don't be late. It's my speciality, you know. Pea soup. Oh, such a charming man. And a prince. Oh, oh it's so romantic. Pea soup. And I haven't got the peas. Oh, John, John! Boggle! Yes, dear? Run down to Dreamy Village immediately! Go to Odd Job John's shop and pick up the dried peas! I don't see why I have to go and get the peas. After all, I'm the king. Yes, I'm the king. <laughs> Oh. 
Ah! A McWhirtle! Where? You! You cannot deny you're wearing the McWhirtle tartan. Take him away. Oh, you can't do that. That's, that's Noble's oblige. I, 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 anyway, I, I have to get back with the peas. Help! Help! What now? King Boggle has been mistaken for a McWhirtle. What will be his fate? Be watching next week. Come on in, gang. Yeah. Get there. Yeah. We're going to come start making our film. <laughs> They must be all down in that basement. Oh, goody! Lights, camera, action! Let's go! No, not yet, you stupid great liar! Ooh, wait till they start filming! Good idea, Your Ladyship, yes. The element of surprise, yes. yes. If Your Graciousness will permit, I'll have an arc at what they're doing. <clears throat> Here! I figures out they've started! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Fashion may both be in fashion, but I want to make the world laugh. Let others do drama of sin and disgrace, while I throw a fish in the heroine's face. To keep them in stitches, I burn the star bridges. <laughs> Cousin Sally in half. <laughs> Let Mr. Griffith deal with humanity's woes. I'd rather film the guy with a fly on his nose. My goal and my mission, my burning ambition, is I want to make the world laugh. Some have a leaning for dark hidden meaning. But I want to make the world laugh. Let other directors from tragic romance. But I like a hero with ants in his pants. Nothing I've found is as sweet as that sound is. The music that fattens a car. My great new plot is not about Jeremy's laugh. It deals with itching powder and Papa's moustache. This guy completely possessed with his I want to make the world Kitchen. Who's that that just came in? Just look at the way he's switching. Don't mind the hour. Cause I'm in power. I got bail if you go to jail. I mean this joint is jumping. I mean this joint is jumping. I mean this joint is jumping. It's really jumping. Yeah.